Hello Aquarius, welcome to Monarch Intuition, and today I'm going to be doing our August 2022 mid-monthly check-in reading for you. So if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to pull one major arcana to see the energy and then clarify with a different deck. So what's going on for the sign of Aquarius? What do we need to know for you? We have the Empress. Okay, so this represents property, land. This could represent the country that you hail from. So when I see the Empress, it's Venusian energy. It's blessed by Venus, right? So it's ruled by... Libra and ruled by Taurus. But the Empress card also represents just physical land, okay? And this could represent you wanting to have a piece of property to have a family. This could represent you moving into a new home. This could be a representation of you've been manifesting a new home or a new place to be within your life right here. And this is something that you're working on, a goal within your life. So when I see this Empress energy for you, if you're very um, fertile right here, be very careful, all right? It can represent motherhood. It can represent pregnancies. So if that's something that you do not want, then I'd be very careful. So let's clarify this Empress energy. What's going on for the sign of Aquarius? What do we need to know? We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have the World card, and we have the Two of Cups upright. So what I'm seeing right here is that there was a situation. There was an Empress situation. This could be a house. This could be a piece of property. Fertility, abundance right here. That just was not meant for you. It was very unfulfilling with this Ace of Cups in reverse. You really thought it was going to be this Ace of Cups, like something that you could have, something that was tangible for you, was going to make you emotionally fulfilled. I feel like that emotional fulfillment is spilling out. So this could be representation that you moved into like the apartment that you always wanted or the house of your dreams and then it being really fucked up and you could not live there. In fact, it got condemned. So with this world card, that cycle is wrapping up and you're moving on to this Two of Cups right here. This Two of Cups represents a brand new situation where you can exchange your cups. So maybe you got some sort of payout because of this Empress energy right here. And so now you can exchange your cups once again with a brand new situation. But here's the thing. Take what you know into account right here with this Empress energy. So let's clarify this Ace of Cups. What do we need to know for you? Oh, the devil came out. All right. So yeah, with the devil coming out like this, what I'm seeing right here is that you were possibly in a contract to this Empress that made you very emotionally unfulfilled. Like maybe you signed a lease on something and... You know, you were trapped to that lease for a very long time. This could represent that, you know, you do not want to be chained to a contract right here, especially right now, Aquarius, especially with the way the world is going. So this is like clarification that if you're wanting to move houses, if you're wanting to sign a lease, if you're wanting to do something, do a lot more in-depth research, look into this contract more. Can your landlord raise the rent without telling you? Can your landlord do this? Can your landlord do that? Like, I, in fact, I might even hire an attorney to look at this contract right here, especially if it's buying something big. This could represent, you know, you making a giant purchase of a piece of land, a car, a house, whatever. So be aware, like you might even be connecting to this thing that you really want right here. And it turns out it's connected to the devil. Like there are too many stipulations. All right. In fact, you might do better off going on with a different connection. Maybe you do see two things in front of you. One looks more appealing and one looks meh. The one that's really appealing seems to be the one that's falling apart. And the one that looks mad might actually be, you know, your your castle, your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So let's clarify this devil. The nine of pentacles. Yeah. So definitely what I was saying right there. You really want this thing. You really want this garden for yourself. You're really hoping that this, you know, apartment, this house, whatever, this new contractual obligation. This could be, you know, getting a second mortgage, putting a lien on something, whatever. Be very aware of the stipulations behind it, okay? Because, you know, you don't want to be... It could also be representation of taking out a loan, all right? Just taking out a loan in general. How much is the interest rate? It seems very, very good, but what is the interest rate? This could be opening up a bank account right here. This could be opening up a new line of credit for yourself. Are you in, are you in debt from, like, the last credit card you had? Be very careful with your financial resources right here, Aquarius. This is talking about taking very good accountability of your money, all right? And be aware of very large financial purchases within your life. So with this world card underneath this empress, it represents you wanting to buy a piece of land on this world. It represents that maybe you even want to change jobs or change directions on this world. You're looking at this world saying, that's the piece of land that I want. That's the country I want to live in or whatever, right? Be aware of the laws there. Be aware of like whatever it is. You could be one of those people that's like wanting to retire and move to Mexico or wanting to retire and move to like, you know, Ireland, whatever. What are the laws of land? What are the rules of like, you know, people moving to these countries, whatever? How easy is it going to be for you to get, you know, your passport, your visa? All these things. Anything that requires a very large change within your life, be aware of that. 
this two of wands representing you want to change a location. The Ten of Pentacles, because you feel like the Ten of Pentacles will be somewhere else. In fact, this could actually be a very good representation of you walking away from something that seems emotionally fulfilling right here and saying, this looks like the Nine of Pentacles. It looks very good, but you could have the Ten of Pentacles over here. Don't go with the first choice, I'm thinking. So if like you have the opportunity to see something, like maybe you want to buy something online and it seems really good, right? But it's really expensive. You're like, I don't know. Like it could be one of those make four easy payments of this and that, right? Maybe you're wanting to buy a wedding ring, whatever. And then you're looking at it. You're like, it seems nice. And maybe you have multiple different things and you've narrowed it down to two. The first option seems good. It seems exactly what you want. The second option seems meh. But I feel like there's too much in the way of this first option. There's too much red tape. There's too much devil energy behind it. And I feel like you would actually be much happier and it's more practical in the long run. It will make you more financially and emotionally fulfilled with this Ten of Pentacles by going with the second choice. You have the Two of Swords. You have the Four of Wands. You can't see the victory of going with the second choice right here. Okay? And that's what's important for you. So definitely narrow things down to two. And then see about the second choices, okay? I feel like the first choice, you see it's so great, but it's just going to pour out eventually. The Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. I kind of feel like you're not wanting to work on something. That's the thing. I feel like you receive the Wheel of Fortune right here when you put more work into something, put more research. I feel like you'll find an Ace of Wands. So you see something really nice. And you're looking at it. You're like, I don't think anything can really compare to this. And then you start doing more research. You're saying, I could sign the contract now. I could make the commitment, but I'm going to do a little bit more work. I'm going to in-depth research this just a little bit more. And then all of a sudden, a new opportunity comes out. You're saying, huh, that looks pretty good too. It's not exactly what I want. But then you look at this and say, oh, that's not what I want at all. It's cute on paper, but the actual practicality of it seems very just negative. All right, so that's the situation. It's always the second choice here. Ace of Cups upright. The Ace of Cups is the second choice. So the Ace of Wands, doing more research, finding the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Do look at it more in depth, okay? How can Aquarius look at this more in depth? Let's see the research right here. What can you do to look at it more in depth? What are the telltale signs of this Ace of Cups in reverse? Telltale signs. The Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. When someone is trying to give you something very quickly, someone sees you and it's like this beggar right here. And they're like, oh yeah, I can offer you this. I can like help you out in a situation. So here's the thing. They see you as growing your own garden right here. Someone who's maybe financially stable. Maybe this is the first time you've ever bought a house, right? You're going through the bank loan system or maybe the first time you've ever bought something. They see that you're financially stable, seeing that you have a good job, you have a good credit history, whatever. But at the same time, they're also seeing you as this beggar. They're like, we'll throw this person a bone. And ultimately, being thrown a bone is okay. Understand that. Sometimes, you know, people really need a car. I used to sell cars. And, you know, you could give them an outrageous interest rate and you could get them in a car and they could leave. And sometimes that's all people need. But ultimately, in the long run, that's really terrible. But, you know, some people just need a car. I don't know. I'm saying right here is that they see you as a beggar. They see you as someone who needs something that's kind of like a sucker born every minute. They see that you're financially stable, but they're also saying we throw this person a bone. They won't know the difference. Look at the contract more, okay? Queen of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. You don't want to be this Queen of Wands and giving up this pentacle right here. I feel like that's the situation. What you need to do is do more in-depth research, and I feel like a pentacle will be given to you out of the sky as well. So don't just hand out your pentacles and don't just, you know give away everything or just don't receive anything, okay? Like with the Six of Pentacles right here, just don't accept anything that comes your way. Do in-depth research. If they seem shady, if they seem seedy, seem seedy, then that's telltale sign right there. With this Queen of uh, Wands, what you need to do, I kind of feel like another thing is if you have a meeting this month, all right, if you have a meeting and it's like, you know, a financial meeting. I'm not talking like a business meeting for your job. Gosh, this piece of hair is messing with me. But like, if you have like to go talk to a bank or something like that, don't doll all up, all right? If you have an important financial meeting about a house or something, don't put on all of your expensive jewelry and don't put on airs and graces. Just look normal. Just put on some jeans, 
a shirt and some tennis shoes and go and look. Don't allow this person to see you as a queen because they're going to see how can we get more money out of this queen? Because you got to think people are pulling out all the stops right now. Like the economy is not that great. People are trying to pull out all the stops to get people into houses at the most amount of money they can. So be careful of that. So ultimately, this seems like a very cut and dry reading for you, Aquarius. Go with the second choice. So let's look at your Oracle cards. Let's look at the Halloween Oracle. We have Lady Delos Muertos, Acceptance and Equality, the Witch, Earthly Weaver of the World. I feel like what you need to do is you need to accept it and understand that, you know, sometimes it's okay to let things go. You accept the fact that it wasn't meant for you, okay? But forge ahead with this Witch, Earthly Weaver of the World. I feel like you could forge a new opportunity for yourself somewhere else, all right? You put in effort where there is a will, there is a way. I feel like the universe will take care of you if you try to go and weave something else for yourself. If you put in more work and more effort into something, more manifestation, all right? Say, I manifested this, but this is not what I want. This is not what I need, all right? Some people go with the first manifestation that comes their way, and it was just a test from God. It was a test from the fairies to see if you actually could handle it. So accept that something cannot be um, have the first time around. Go with the second choice. I feel like that's more practical with this Ten of Pentacles. And remember, witches are all about practicality. Okay? So let's look at your spellcasting oracle cards. Prosperity and confidence. Okay? Here's the thing. The second choice is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? It's more prosperous than the nine of pentacles attached to the devil okay so this one right here this is the completion the culmination of something remember that the ten of pentacles is the culmination from the two to the ten right it's the strongest of the the number series so continue to forge with confidence if you see an opportunity understand that there will be a better opportunity ahead okay understand that for yourself I feel like what you need to be prepared for is to deal with a lot of kind of like underhanded people, all right? If something seems too easy to get a hold of, then it's generally too easy to get a hold of it right now. So let's look at your, um, what are these? Witches familiars? Yes, witches familiars. We have nymph promiscuity. Hold on, let me go and get it in just a second. We have Black Hound Foreboding and Nymph Promiscuity. Hold on. So what you need to be prepared for with this Nymph Promiscuity is you need to temper your impulses, okay? The word Nymphomania comes from the word Nymph. Nymphs were fairies, all right? And we just talked about manifestation with the fairies. Sometimes they trick you. I kind of feel like that's the foreboding energy is understand that fairies are not just these malevolent or benevolent creatures. They're actually pretty malevolent. A lot of them are. The witch is the earthly weaver of the worlds. The fairies can weave fate, but sometimes you have to tell the fairies to help you weave your fate, okay? Sometimes they want to play tricks on you and you have to say, I don't want that. I want something real. And sometimes you have to kind of like challenge them. Like Rumpelstiltskin was essentially a fairy, right? The woman that's turned the straw into gold in that story. And they eventually guessed his name and he had to give them what she actually wanted. That's what you need to understand right there. The nymph promiscuity can also mean the word nymphomania. So be prepared to um, turn down people of really just overly sexual desires right here. That's kind of what I'm seeing with the nymph. Especially if this used to be you as a person, you might come into contact with someone who's like very beautiful, very gorgeous, and maybe you've had problems with that in the past. Um, be prepared that might be happening. That could be that foreboding energy understand that they could be coming to play tricks on you during the end of August. So go with the second choice, all right? Let's look at your rune cards. We have Nadka's need, need, self-restraint, disappointment, avoidance of greed, patience, and simplification. The spiritual meaning is asceticism, transcendence, and the soul. So I feel like there's a need, right? 
And if you don't have self-restraint, there will be disappointment. All right. So you need to definitely have self-restraint right here to not go after just the first thing that's thrown at you. Avoid the greed aspect of it. I feel like you're looking at something thinking, man, that looks good. No one else is going to have that. Avoid the greed. Okay. I feel like the reason no one else has that is because it's actually really bad and you don't want to be the one that's the sucker born every minute, right? So have patience and simplify the situation. Say, okay, that has way too much red tape. I don't need something with all of that. I need something that's more cut and dry. And so have the patience to continue to do your research and transcend above this situation right here. So let's look at your um, talisman card. So with the nat hose, it does mean need. You need something right here. You need an empress situation within your life. Algus, protection, courage, help from others, and good decision making. Ask people who have, you know, real life experience in situations. Maybe ask your parents, ask, you know, a friend or a family member, whatever. Pay attention to people right here who do have, you know, higher thought process, who've been through this situation before. Ask them for help when you need to. I feel like they will give you the protection right here. And, you know, sometimes you can have them come and look at the house with you. You can have them look at the new car. You can have them look at all these different things and they might give you the courage to say no because maybe they can find the flaw in the situation, all right? So I feel like you're very protected right here, but you do need to ask help from others, ask help from people who know what they're talking about. So anyway, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. It's very cut and dry, very simple, plain. So I know I, I was hoping that there'd be more to it, but I mean, this is it. I feel like you're gonna have, you know, different choices right here. Go with the second one, go with the one that has less red tape. So I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to you later, Aquarius. Bye.